Hi, my friends. How are you? As you might already know, I'm working on prepping for upcoming film festival recently. I'm not gonna lie, with my day job and the YouTube channel, it has been overwhelming. In addition, I have taken on another writing and directing job this month. So yeah, now it's the time to test my years of practice of productivity and energy management. Today, I'm going to take you along with me through a productive day of my life. I was hoping to get up at 6 a.m. because I promised the producer I will give her two story ideas before I go to my day job. But I snoozed until a little past 6:30, made my coffee, sat down by my desk around 7. As I tried to tidy up a bit, I realized my cat has spilled water under my typewriter. I cleaned up the mess, came back and started writing. Around 8.30, I finished writing. This reflected the Parkinson's law that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. I know if the producer asks me to deliver the draft in a couple days, then nothing will be done until two days from now. At 8.45 a.m., I head out to the car service center. I supposed to take my car in five months ago to change the oil, but I procrastinated it until now. On the way, I'm listening to Michael Stinger's audiobook program, Living from a Place of Surrender, and the clarity he gives in the program blew my mind. I'll leave a link down below. I arrived at the service center at 9.22 a.m., waited them checking in my car. I took out my camera. The guy asked if I'm a photographer. I said no. He arranged me a lift to work, so I waited in the parking lot. I didn't take out my phone during the wait because I'm intentionally practicing boredom. My friends has probably already used to me not replying their message sooner. It's been years since last time I sitting in a stranger's car. The view of the familiar road feels different when I look out through the back seat window. Have a nice day. The garden was so quiet on Monday. I had some headaches, so I decided to drink more coffee. At 2.45, I finished my work and then sat in the shade waiting for a Uber. I picked up my car at the service center around 3.31. It feels good to know I don't need to deal with my car for another year. I drove home with listening to Michael's program, of course. I arrived at my house at 3.55 p.m. The wind blew the tree shades. I was thinking to myself how much I wanted to sit and read under this tree instead of go back into my study working. Then my stomach started gurgling as I realized I haven't eaten anything. I warmed up my leftover from last night, eat with a TV show for the next 25 minutes, this show has a really good screenplay, several dozens of very unique characters, and great acting. It's rare to have a good show about female independence based on my culture. If you are interested, it's on YouTube for free to watch with English subtitle, so I will leave the link down below. At 4.30 p.m., I went on a Zoom meeting with the producer and the client. We discussed about my story ideas and it sounded like they have more specific requests, so I need to rewrite new idea. At 5.37 p.m., I spent 15 minutes cleaned up my email inbox and then replied to some of the emails, mostly about the film festival. By the way, if you don't know already, my film screening is on the September 4th at the Chinese theater in Hollywood. The ticket is on sale now, and I will leave a link down below in the description. At 5.55 p.m., I received a nice card my friend Mike mailed to me. It was very thoughtful of him to get a card with a tray on it to represent my film Banyan Tree. 
At 6:02 p.m., I started reorganizing notes I took from the meeting and thinking about new ideas. Because I need to give the producer a new draft tonight before I went to bed. Yes, this project moved forward so fast. We plan to have the script and the directing visual prep done within a week. 6:35 p.m. At this point, I started to feel my brain hurts badly because I haven't slept well last night. I couldn't think clearly, so I decided to lie down and nap a little bit before I eat dinner. Of course, with Booger. I was back from dinner around 8:30 p.m. and I kept writing for another hour until it's all done. So this is pretty much what I did today. It is fulfilling to get so many tasks done. As I'm editing, I realize I didn't film the enough diverse footage for this video. I just rolled the camera and then forgot it was rolling until I done with my task. So thank you so much for being so patient and make through this far. I will keep uploading video during this busy month and share things I learned throughout my journey with you. So see you next week. Be patient, be present, and stay creative. Beep. Thank、you